Hi, it's Charlie Minato from halfwheel.com and this is the Davidoff Concrete Ashtray. As the name implies, it's an ashtray from Davidoff and it is made of concrete. So I screwed up the video here. There are six different ashtrays. I am reviewing the small one, which has slots for two cigars. There is also a larger one that has slots for four cigars. They are offered in three different stone concrete finishes. I am reviewing the dark gray. There is also a light gray as well as a white marble. And there are accent pieces on each one. However, the small ashtrays, regardless of which of those three colors you get, is going to have the rose gold accent piece, whereas the large four cigar ashtray is going to have a yellow gold accent piece. Now, regardless of what you choose, the MSRP for the small one is $225 and the MSRP for the large one is $270. In terms of physical specs, uh, it's about seven and a quarter inches in diameter. So that would be from here to here for those of you that aren't up on math terms. And it's a little more than an inch and a half in height, closer to 1.6 inches than it is to 1.5 inches. Um, beyond that, it's a concrete ashtray. So depending on where I put my fingers depends on the level of smoothness. It is very smooth for concrete, certainly a lot smoother than a street or a sidewalk would feel. But uh, if I run my hands down the outside of the ashtray or my fingers down the outside of the ashtray, it's smooth, but there is uh, more texture than the inside of the bowl, which feels almost like glass, uh, certainly like marble, um, a bit like dirty glass. It's not like perfectly smooth, like absolutely clean glass would be, um, but it, it's a lot smoother. The place where your cigars would go, so these two cigar holders, those have the less than perfectly smooth texture, so more like the outside of the ashtray. That makes sense. You probably want a little bit more grip, so that way the cigars aren't sliding into the ashtray when you put them down. In terms of the bottom of the ashtray, there are four small felt uh, stoppers here, so that can help protect the surface the ashtray is on. It also provides a little bit more grip to where the ashtray is sitting. Um, and there's also the small rose gold circle inside, which indicates that this ashtray was made in Europe. Now, this is an ashtray. It is pretty self-explanatory, but if there's one thing that I might need to explain a little bit further, it's probably related to the slots that are in here to put your cigars in. Now, in a lot of ashtrays, whether it's two cigar or four cigar ashtrays, these slots will be directly opposed to one another. And it's probably because of some sort of like symmetrical design design principle. However, with Davidoff, a lot of times these slots are slightly off center from one another. And you can kind of see it here. You can see how I struggle to get the ashtray to have it so that it looks symmetrical. And it's because it's probably not going to look that way because those slots are not directly opposed to one another, They're slightly off center from one another. Now, this serves one uh, purpose in a pretty unique scenario, although one that I'm sure happens quite a bit with ashtrays. Uh, if you have two cigars that are supposed to be put in this ashtray and they are lit up around the same time and they are, let's say, longer than a Robusto, you run the risk, if the slots are directly opposed from one another, that the cigars could be touching uh, one another before the ash starts to fall off and the cigars get shorter. What Davidoff does that's a little bit different is that because they're off center, the cigars will end up overlapping one another when they are in the ashtray. So that way you're not knocking the other person's cigar um, when you're sharing this ashtray with someone else. And it's a nice small little design tweak, something that I've come to appreciate about this ashtray. Now, as far as other nice things I have to say about the ashtray, I really do like the way it looks. Those of you that have watched previous cigar accessory reviews for me know that I like modern looking cigar accessories and this certainly fits that bill. Um, and then some, it's probably gonna work in every room, um, but it is nice that there are a number of color combinations to choose from. The second thing, or the third thing, I guess, if we're counting here that I would say, and if you've watched previous Asher reviews for me, you know that this is a big deal. It is very easy to clean because it's circular and round. There's not sharp edges, uh, which means that putting a cloth inside of here to get things cleaned out is much, much easier. There's not really places for ash to go and hide. Um, so it gets high marks there. The final thing I'll say, which could be a pro or con, depending on how you want to look at it, is the way that this ashtray patinas. Um, when you get an ashtray that's made of concrete or sort of other natural stones, um, you do sometimes run into a situation where the ashtray is going to patina, and sometimes they are designed to do that. This ashtray certainly um, is going to patina. It's not as aggressive as, say, the Leif and Lam, Monad, and Dyad ashtrays were. Um, I've been using this on and off for about four months, and there is a ring. It's hard to tell with the high-powered lights because they kind of drown them out. There's a small like ring of, of slightly darker gray um, that's emerging sort of where the, the bottom of the ashtray and the walls of the ashtray sort of come together. Um, and so I would say it's a slight patina, but it's more like breaking in a new baseball mitt um, than it is like a discoloring something. There's no signs of like yellow or, or dark browns or things like that. Um, so uh, I like the way it patinas, though if you are completely opposed to patining, um, this is not a good ashtray for you. 
Now, there are two minor sort of complaints I have about the ashtray. Um, the first one is that, well, I do like the fact that it is a relatively compact ashtray. Um, one of the things that comes about with that is that the walls of the ashtray are pretty thin, and that means that the place to put your cigar is also pretty thin. And a lot of times I found like this, when I was smoking cigars, taking a puff and not sort of specifically making sure that things were balanced like I just did there, there were a lot of times when I would take a, take a puff, put the cigar back down, and the cigar would fall, both into the ashtray um, like you first saw and then out of the ashtray like this. Um, and it's a small little annoyance. The second small little annoyance, um, not a big issue for me, but could be for some, this rose gold or the two rose gold accent pieces, they are fingerprint magnets. And under these high powered lights, I can actually see fingerprints and scratches and, and other sorts of things. Um, not as noticeable in natural light, but the fingerprints definitely are something to be aware of if that's a major concern for you. Those are two minor complaints. There is one major sort of thing to consider here um, on the cons list, and that's the price. It is $225, and I have reviewed more expensive ashtrays than this and less expensive ashtrays than this, but it's still $225. I'm here to tell you that if you like the way the ashtray looks and you are okay with the price, the ashtray is easy to clean, it's well made, um, I don't think you're getting ripped off. It is a $225 ashtray, so you, you may think that that's a ripoff to begin with, but you're paying for a luxury ashtray and you're getting a luxury cigar ashtray in my opinion. Um, so if the price isn't gonna scare you off, I think you can go ahead and buy this uh, with confidence and, and not really have to worry about it. However, for me, I have a little bit of a different approach. If I'm going to spend $225 on an ashtray or hundreds of dollars on an ashtray, that's probably a once in a lifetime type thing. I do it all the time because I'm reviewing ashtrays, but if I was buying it from my house, I would probably just get one nice ashtray or maybe two, one for one part of the table and one part for the other part of the table. And if I'm gonna spend this much money, I'm gonna want something that's more unique looking than this. It's nice looking and it's a bit unique, but it's not enough for me. Davidoff makes ashtrays that are more unique for less money and more money, and I would probably go that route if I was gonna make this sort of investment. But ashtrays are generally down to do you like the way that it looks and are you good with the price? So it's probably more of a decision for you to make than it is for a recommendation for me. But those are just sort of my closing thoughts. If for some reason you would like to read more reviews of ashtrays or a more in-depth review of this ashtray, you can check out halfwheel.com where there are reviews of less expensive and more expensive ashtrays. You can also see my reviews of humidors and humidification products, Brooks's reviews of cutters, Patrick's reviews of lighters, and of course, the three of us covering the cigar industry on a daily basis, whether that be cigar reviews, cigar news, legislation, those types of things. All that can be found on halfwheel.com.